A mitochondrion contained in a one-half micrometer thick section of chicken brain is viewed with a high voltage electron microscope. When the section is tilted in the microscope, it can be viewed from many different angles, and a large amount of three-dimensional detail becomes apparent. Images from such a series of tilted views can be used to calculate a three-dimensional reconstruction, or tomogram, of the mitochondrion. The tomogram of the same tissue slice is shown here as a series of stacked images. The movie steps through the images one by one, from the bottom of the stack to the top and back. This allows us to trace individual membranes in three dimensions. To create a three-dimensional model, membranes in an individual slice of the tomogram are traced. In this case, the inner membrane is traced in light blue, where it parallels the outer membrane, and traced in yellow, where it folds into the cristae that protrude into the mitochondrial interior. The tracings from all sections are then modeled as three-dimensional surfaces and displayed as a three-dimensional model by a computer program. Such a model can now be viewed from any angle. In this view, only four Christi are shown and the others are omitted. The Christi are colored differently and show the variety of shapes and connections to the inner membrane in a single mitochondrion. The model also shows the reconstitution of the outer mitochondrial membrane, represented in dark blue, as well as two fragments of endoplasmic reticulum. Regions of such close proximity between the two organelles are quite frequently seen in cells. Note that there is no continuity between the mitochondrial and endoplasmic reticulum membranes. Lipids are thought to be shuttled between the two organelles by special carrier proteins that operate in this gap.